you, you keep mentioning the CIA and the U.S. government. Who was running the CIA at this time? Well, I was I, 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 because I, I don't remember exactly if it was Woolsey or who, there were several, because this went on for a while. There were several, more than one CIA director at the time. I can't remember who it specifically it was, the, 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 the latter was. I know Woolsey was involved in the beginning of it. Uh, but you remember that the CIA was, was weaponized by the administration. It's the administration, Sean. We can blame the CIA. We can blame the DEA. We can blame uh, the FBI. Whoever we want to blame. They are basically ordered and are weaponized to do basically whatever the, the, the current administration wants them to do. Now, according to our Constitution, the, 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 the gov these government agencies are not supposed to uh, basically take orders from uh, the administration. They're supposed to be independent investigative agencies that they'll investigate uh, basically equally uh, to anything. But for, for, for administrations to weaponize these agencies, to weaponize the IRS and say, go, go after Sean, or go after Hector, go after this, that is wrong. For them to weaponize the FBI to arrest certain people and, and, and basically look the other way on other people, that is, that is called weaponization. That is wrong. And we've seen this. And it's not just with this administration, it's been with the other with the other administration too. So therefore, I'm not political here. They 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 shouldn't do that. This is against our U.S. Constitution, our our, our our checks and balances that the Constitution has. They're not supposed to do that, but yet they do. And so we have the CIA here getting money to fund a war that they think that needs to be fought against communism, against Congress. Congress didn't want to get involved in that war, Sean, because we just came out of Vietnam. We had just come out of Vietnam in the 75, 75, 1975, 76. And the Congress did not, was not ready, and they didn't think the American people were ready to get involved in another major war now in South America. So they, the CIA and the, the DIA, defense um, agencies, intelligence agencies, they go to the, they, they go to Congress and and they say, hey, we need, we need, we need funding. We need to fight the the, 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 the Cubans and the and the Venezuelans that are that are that are that are funding the, the the Nicaraguans down there. And Congress says, no, we're not going to fund it. We're not going to give you any money. And for and furthermore, we don't want you to send any military help over there or get involved militarily in Nicaragua. No, we're not going to be involved in that war. So what do they do? They can't. The administration now can't. They don't, want, they, don't, they don't like Congress saying no to them, so they say, hey, CIA, find, find a way to fund this thing. So what do they do? They go to the cartels, and they, they get the cartels to help them. And, uh, and, and, and the next thing you know, the cartels are providing um, our, 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 our military and, and our CIA with funding to fund the war. And then, to make matters worse, they start using military planes to bring in cocaine. It's no secret. No secret that, 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 that it was the, the, the CIA pilots that were flying in the cocaine uh, in American planes. And it is no secret now that they were the ones that basically caused the cocaine epidemic in South Central Los Angeles. So and while that part of the government is saying, say no to drugs, we get the other part of the government, feed all the drugs that you can. You let's get all the money we can. So then you, what do you have? A cocaine crack epidemic in South Central. And, and, all, and all the other big cities of our country. Babies are being born crack addicted. Uh, people are dying by the hundreds of thousands because of uh, cocaine uh, overdoses. And yet, nothing is going back to these guys. And they, they, to this day, uh, the guys that were supplying Freeway Ricky Ross with all the cocaine, they, they've never been arrested. Then you know Blandone and Edward Menezes, they're living in South America. They were never brought to justice. Yeah, they are. They arrested that black guy, Freeway Ricky Ross. Of course, he's black. We're going to put him in jail. They arrested Freeway Ricky Ross. Matter of fact, Ricky Ross told me that he got. He never worried about being ripped off. He never had to carry guns or have bodyguards. He said because he didn't care that they ripped him off. You know why? Because it wasn't his drugs. He they fronted him the cocaine. He never paid for it. He said so. If I got ripped off, Victor, I didn't care. It wasn't. I wasn't losing any money. I just go to, 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 to them and say, 
to Blandona and them and give me more cocaine. I got I lost, I got ripped off 100 kilos. They, they, they would just give me more drugs. So I didn't have to go after anybody or cared about being ripped off. I just, if they ripped me off, I just gave them the dope. Because I, it, wasn't, I wasn't, it wasn't my loss. It was that blatant. Again, if people did not hear this from your mouth, they simply would not believe it. They wouldn't believe it. Uh, I asked you earlier who was running the CIA at that time because I know at some point old man Bush was the director of that agency. Uh, Bush goes on and he becomes vice president to then Ronald Reagan, um, all at the same time that this is all going on. We know Ronald Reagan's wife, Nancy Reagan, was pushing the whole say no to drugs campaign. That is what her agenda was as the first lady. But meanwhile, the CIA director and vice president is literally using the cartels and using street guys right here in the U.S. of A, like Freeway Ricky Ross, to flood the streets with illegal drugs to fund a war in Nicaragua. It's it, This is literally insane. I, I can only imagine somebody like you who fought for this country, uh, who worked law enforcement for the better part of your life, who killed people in the name of justice, coming to learn just how deep this rabbit hole really went. How, how, how are you able to, number one, do your job and to make sense of your life? Because your life essentially was a lie. That is correct. And thank you for reminding me that, that you're right. Uh, old man Bush, George Bush, had been the director of the CIA. Old man Bush later became vice president, as we know, and later became president. When old man Bush was very, had a very, very close friendship and a very close relationship to the gentleman, the CIA operative that I mentioned, Ismael Felix Rodriguez. Who, who at that time, who at that fact, time if I, I got it correctly... He went by Max Gomez on the streets. Oh, yeah, Felix Rodriguez used, used to use his undercover name in Mexico. His, his, so nobody would know who he really was, was Max Gomez. That's why it took me three years to finally identify who Max Gomez was, that it was Felix Rodriguez. But I might, I have to make this point. No, that when Bush became president of the United States, he brought Rodriguez over and gave him an office at the executive building of the White House. This is the same guy that interrogated Camarena. I'm glad you reminded me of that. Good point, Sean. This is so hard to believe. Uh, and, and the corruption, it, it, it goes literally so high up into the White House. It is just hard to wrap my head around it. So I can almost, I, I, I can't even imagine what you must have been thinking in real time. Uh, no, I, 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 like I said, I had a hard time doing my job. I really did. When I found out that basically that our own government was bringing in tons of cocaine, that they were basically distributing in, in, it, 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 it basically destroyed blacks, Hispanics, and even white people. They destroy them with drugs. They didn't care. They want to use drugs? Okay, let's feed them the drugs. Let's get the money and put it to a door. They say a good purpose. The national security of our country because we don't want communism in our backyard in South America. As a matter of fact, they told me that. They brought me in and they said, Hector, he says, don't you understand here that we're not bad guys? We do what we have to do for the security of, of our country, for the national security of our country, we don't need the communists in our backyard. So even though you look at us like we did something bad here, we did it for a major and bigger reason and cause, okay? The national security of our country. Why are you opposing us, Hector? Be a team player. Understand that we do not work under constitutional law. We're not a law enforcement agency. We are an intelligence agency. 
And I told the gentleman that I was talking to him, at Washington, D.C., I understand, but you sound to me like the bank robbers I used to arrest, arrest when I was a city cop. They all had a reason why they were robbing banks, but you have a reason why you're doing what you're doing. They would tell me that their mother had cancer, didn't have money to pay their medical bills, so they went and robbed the bank. So you're telling me like a bank robber the reason why you became drug dealers. So I still, I, I still can't basically, I said, accept it. Still bothers me, but you're right. I don't like the communists being in my backyard, and you guys feel that you were doing the right thing, because you're right. You do not work like I do under constitutional law. You don't arrest people, but yet you hire s snipers and pilots and do all kinds of destruction and stuff all over the world. But you're doing it, like you said, for our national security. Well, there you have it. That's what I was told. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.